Hello everyone, Monty here, and today I'm going to teach you how to make one of my favorite desserts, and it is a frozen banana on a stick covered with chocolate PB2, and then sometimes I put nuts on them, and today I'm going to put some slivered almonds on top as well. So let's get started, and I'll show you how I make this. So first of all, um, when my bananas are starting to go bad, I slice them and freeze them, and I use that for my um, uh, two or three ingredient um, ice cream. I also use it for um, just eating the frozen bananas like bonbons. Really, really delicious. But today, um, these aren't that bad where I want I need, need to slice them. I could actually use these for the banana on a stick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one medium banana. This is actually more like a small banana, but I'll call it a medium. It's in between a small and a medium. Then we're gonna peel it. I've got my garbage here. Then I'm gonna get a little knife so I can just cut it in half. I forgot to get my knife. And so we're just, I'm gonna show you how to make one and then we're, I'm gonna make a whole bunch. I'm probably gonna make three, which will be six pieces. I usually eat a whole banana. I, I cut it in half and I put, you know, one on a stick, you know, uh, one half on, on a stick. Um, so I'm gonna take three bananas and make six frozen bananas on a stick. But I'll eat, um, I'll definitely eat the, both, you know, both pieces, so I'll eat the whole banana. And it's about 195 calories. I'll post a picture of, um, I believe it's 105 for the um, banana, 105 calories for a medium banana, then it's 50 calories for the chocolate PB2, and then it's gonna be 40 calories for seven grams of almonds, I weighed it, okay? And so let's get started. So the first thing I did was I, um, as you saw, cut the banana in half. I bought these bamboo skewers. This is the Publix brand. That's the supermarket I shop at right now, that and Whole Foods. But uh, Publix had some of these skewers and I'm just gonna take these um, bamboo skewers and I'm just gonna stick it in the middle of this. And there we go. I usually like a little bit thicker skewers, but this will work fine. Then we're gonna do the chocolate PB2. For those of you who don't know what PB2, it's powdered peanut butter that's 85% less fat and calories than peanut butter. It does have um, four grams of sugar for two tablespoons. It used to have like two, but they increased, and it used to be 40 or 45 calories. Of course, whenever they change the recipe, there's always more sugar in it. But still, anything under like, you know, three or four grams of sugar, I'll, I'll eat a couple of products with it. I try not to eat any refined sugar but this has four grams, which to me is not that bad, and this is a treat for me. Um, anything more than that would be too sweet, and I wouldn't enjoy it. I, I've been off of sugar for so long that too much sugar, I, I just think, tastes violent. So what I'm gonna do is I need to get, I take my little container here, my little glass ramekin. I bought these at my local supermarket too, and I'm gonna take two tablespoons of the PB2, put it in here, and then we're gonna mix it with water. And you know, I have to start mixing it slowly. I, you know, usually if you mix about um, a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons, it's, you know, thick like peanut butter um, that you can put on crackers or I can paint a little bit. You want it thick to paint on here. Um, if you wanna drizzle it on fruit or on top of a dessert, I usually put two to two and a half uh, tablespoons of water. So we're gonna put in one and a half to start out with because we measured it and we don't wanna have to put more product in to make it firmer. And here we go. This, you know, I, ne I never know how this works, and this is not even enough to mix it up. I think the air, the temperature, all have something to do with it because I do this a million times and I never get it right. It's like I could put the same amount in 10 times and get a different result. So you just wanna keep adding it slowly. See, this is still like peanut butter. This would be great for spreading on a cracker, but it's too thick to put on here. We want like fudge to paint the, uh, to paint the bananas. Almost there. Still just a little bit thick. Want a little bit looser. You gotta get that perfect consistency. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Okay, that looks good. I don't know if you can see what it looks like, but it's thick, but it's gonna be thin enough for you to paint it. So I've got a little pastry brush, a rubber one that I bought at my local supermarket, and I could just put some on and I can start painting this. Uh, 
I'm just gonna do one because this does take a little bit of time and I'm sure you don't want to see me paint all of these. This is a little messy. You'll get it on your fingers too. Okay. So I painted one. Gonna get a little bit more on here. But 195 calories for two of these is not really a lot. And then I'm just gonna push on some of the chocolate almond onto here. You could break it up into smaller pieces if you want. Okay. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in an egg carton. Oops, I'm dropping an almond here. I'm gonna put this in the top of an egg carton that I've perforated some holes in. and then that should hold it, okay? And that's how easy it is. So um, if you have enough room in your freezer, I have a very big free, um, French door freezer with the freezer on the bottom in my garage and the whole bottom is empty because I don't believe in f frozen foods. I freeze bread and fruit and that's all I have. And I've got two freezers. I've got one in my refrigerator here and I've got one in my garage. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish these. I'm gonna make probably uh, three bananas or six pieces. Then I'll put it in the freezer for at least four hours and then I'll, that'll be enough time for me to have it tonight after my dinner. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay guys, it's been four hours. I had worked out, I did a little work in my office and the frozen chocolate bananas are ready. Now, the chocolate PB2 is not going to be really, um, hard shell like a chocolate would be, but it's still frozen, so it's gonna be okay. These are stuck, get this one off. Okay, there we go, a little paper stuck to it. And uh, there we go. So we got two, um, again, this is 195 calories. I've got two of these on the stick. I'm gonna go eat both of these for my dessert. And I'm just gonna put these in a Ziploc bag and back in the freezer. So I hope you, um, Enjoyed watching how to make these chocolate frozen bananas on a stick with some nuts. Um, it's really healthy, all natural, just three ingredients, uh, the PB2, the almonds, and uh, the banana, and utterly delicious. Mm. That is so good. Well, excuse me for talking with my mouth full. I'm gonna go eat these. Hope you enjoyed my video on how to make the chocolate frozen bananas.